Welcome to the Scotia Connect tutorial for creating a payment from an existing integrated payment template. In this video, we will show you how to create, approve, and submit an integrated payment using an existing template in Scotia Connect. Please note that only users with access to the integrated payment service can perform these functions. We will start by clicking the Payments tab at the top of the screen. Once the submenu opens, select the link for integrated payments. Select the Create from Templates link from the menu to access your templates. On the Create Payments from Templates screen you have several options. You can search for existing templates using the template ID, recipient name, vendor number, service group, and settlement account. You may search using only partial data in these fields if you are not sure exactly what to enter. For example, if you know the recipient for the template you are looking for starts with the letter J, Enter only a J in the Recipient field and press Enter or click the search button near the bottom right of the screen. You can also list a group of templates based on the service groups, payment types, and settlement accounts. Your results can be sorted using the Sorted By field. To see a list of all your templates, leave all of these fields blank and press Enter or click the search button near the bottom right area of the screen. To see more information regarding a template, select the blue hyperlink template ID to pull up its information. Once you have located the template that you wish to create a payment from, place a checkbox beside the template ID. You can select multiple templates by selecting several from this screen. To select all of them, click the top selection box to the left of the template ID. To proceed, select the Create Payments link. You will now be taken to the Create Payments from Template page where you must complete the payment by entering some information. Notice the due date is always blank. You must enter the due date for the payment. This is the date that the transaction is to be processed. For example, if this is for payroll, you would enter the employee's pay date in this field. The date field format is always two-digit month, two-digit day, and four-digit year. There is also a convenient calendar widget if you'd like to choose your date using a point-and-click method. If you have multiple payments that you are creating, and they will all share a common due date, you can enter the due date in the Due Value Date field and click the Apply Date to Selected Payments button. This will auto-populate all the fields with the same date and save you time. The amount fields will be required whenever your template does not have a set amount. If your template has a payment amount preset, that amount will appear in a field that cannot be edited. Notice the $50 here cannot be changed. If you need to change the amount, you will need to cancel from this screen and either edit the template or create this payment as a one-time payment without using this template. Enter your amount where required on all payments. Finally, you will need to enter a payment number for each payment. These numbers are assigned by your company and can be any alphanumeric value up to 19 characters in length for EFT. It is strongly recommended to use a unique value for each payment on this screen in order to easily identify them in the future for your own internal records. Once all of the mandatory fields have been populated, click the Continue button near the bottom right area of this screen. You will now be taken to the Payments Review and Confirm screen. Once you have reviewed your payment details, you can select Save to continue or Cancel to go back and make corrections. If there are no errors, you will receive the confirmation that the creation of the payments was successful. If there are any errors, select the payment to see the error messages on this screen. Now that we have successfully created payments, we can either create more payments or select Done. When you select Done, you will be taken to the Integrated Payments Pending screen. Here, you will see a list of all your current pending payments based on all the service groups that you have access to. To find the payments you just created, ensure to expand the service group that they were created with. Next, locate the payment type. Here you can see that our two payments are pending approval. 
If the value here is higher than the amount of payments that you just created, it means that there were payments already waiting to be approved prior to the new ones just created. You or someone else at your company would have created these earlier. If your payments do not require approval, they will be in the Ready to Submit column. We'll show you how to submit payments later in this video. To view the payments that need approval, click on the number in the Pending Approval column. Here, we can see the payments that are in need of approval. The status of these payments will be either entered Approval 1 or Approval 2. In order to approve these payments, we will need someone else at our company to log into Scotia Connect and proceed to this screen. Now, we are logged in as the user that will be approving the payments. To approve them, proceed to the Payments menu at the top of the screen and select the Integrated Payments submenu. To continue, select the Pending menu. Now locate the payments that need approval and select them to see the details. To approve the payments, enter a checkbox and select Approve near the bottom right area of this screen. You can select multiple payments at once, or all of them if you select the top checkbox near the Payment Type column. Note the other options at the bottom of this screen. Delete will delete the selected payments. Disable will hold the selected payments in a disabled status so that they cannot be submitted. The payments will not be deleted. Enable is to re-enable selected payments that are in disabled status. Submit is to submit selected payments that are in ready status. Next, you will see a confirmation screen showing you what you are about to approve. Please review this screen and either cancel to go back and make changes, or select Confirm Approval to finalize your approval. The system will take a moment to approve the payments. Click Done once complete. Now, you can return to the Pending menu to see the status of the payments. If the payments are now shown in the Ready to Submit column, then any user with Submit Payment Privileges can proceed to submit the payments. However, if multiple approvals are required, the next approver will need to log in and repeat the same steps until the payments are ready to submit. Note that you can always handle the payments on this screen at a batch level by placing a checkbox on this screen and then selecting either Approve, Delete, Disable, Enable, or Submit. It is important to always verify the details of the payment before doing this, as this method does not display any details about your payments other than total dollar value. Now that the payments are ready to submit, we can click on the value under the Ready to Submit column to see the details of those payments. Once we are ready to submit the payments, place a checkbox beside the payments and select the Submit button near the bottom right of the screen. Scotia Connect will now display the payment summary screen. You will now be prompted to enter your Scotia Connect password as a last authentication. When you are satisfied with the payment information, click the Confirm Submit button to proceed. After the payments have been submitted, you can view the payment submitted summary report from the Message Center on the home screen of Scotia Connect. This report will be available a few minutes after the payments were submitted. This will provide you with a high-level overview of your submitted payments. Note that you will also receive a summary report for payments that you have deleted, approved, disabled, and enabled. You can also view the status of your payments by performing a search from the Integrated Payments menu. Please see the separate tutorial video entitled Integrated Payments Reconciliation for more information. This concludes the video for creating a one-time integrated payment in Scotia Connect.